it wasn't like there was some sort of grand plan and I had it all figured out. You just, I think that's the way a lot of businesses, you know, happen. People just, they decide that uh, they think they can do something and then they, they uh, go about making or proving to themselves that they can. Here it gives you plenty of time to think while you're uh, here alone. I mean, at night, uh, sometimes I'll, I'll work overnight um, molding. After you make something, you're you got to figure out a way to market it. And uh, local retailers have been super good to us, very supportive of a made in Maine product. And uh, so we figured out how to make it. We, we're still working on how to market it, but we think we're we're making gains there. Hoping to grow it into a regional company. Spend a lot of time thinking about that. Sometimes thinking about politics and you know what transpired and what you could have done differently, how you could have done things better. Everybody makes mistakes. There are always things that you wish you'd have done differently. You know, I get the fact that, uh, you know, the governor had an agenda. It's one that, you know, that, and, it, and he wanted to, to sell it to us all. Um, but in a representative democracy, there's a lot of people with ideas. Sometimes folks forget this, this, is, this is bigger than any one person. This is about our state, our future. We got 1.25 million people that are affected by what we do there at the state house. If I was to sit down and be given, you know, the responsibility and and and, and the authority to write the state's budget by myself, there'd be stuff in it that I probably wouldn't like. You. Do the best you can, you offer a solution, and you try to be part of the solution.